What's up guys? It's Jim and man, I know that from some of my the comments I've gotten on videos I've created about the Facebook ad integration with Go High Level that some other people have run into this issue as well where your Facebook page is missing in the page selector drop down during the integration process like when you're connecting your Facebook page. So it's crazy and I hadn't seen this before and it was just because of dumb luck, right, really. And so I couldn't really comprehend sometimes what the comments were talking about because I just hadn't seen it. And so I apologize that I wasn't as helpful on those things as I could have been because I was, I was guessing a little bit too and hadn't had it happen to me. But now, Welcome to the Results Press channel, and I was just creating a Facebook reel that talking about how when you run into this kinds of issues, it's like if you can figure out how to solve the problem, make a video about it because somebody else is having this issue too, and I know some of you guys have had this. So I finally figured it out, and it's like you may have seen these directions, this help page inside of Go High Level it seems like oh thank goodness they've got a solution to this problem in the help it doesn't work right that's probably what you've discovered too which is why you probably came to youtube looking for a solution and ran across my other videos which also talk about the integrations so technically i should say this does work it's just that it's nothing like getting to the page where you have to fix this stuff is nothing like what they outline in the directions. So I'm glad it worked for them and they took some screenshots, but it sure as hell didn't work for me. Excuse my language there. And I've tried this a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. I keep giving up on it. And it's little stuff like that that makes you think, oh, you know what? I'm just going to I'm going to go with like my old vendor because everything worked right. And even though Go High Level's got all this other great stuff, which they do. So I'm glad I figured this out. But all right, let me get right down into action here. So how to fix this issue? So they say, oh, just go up to your profile settings. And this, when they should have put some context here, because almost all of us, if you're doing this with a page and you're connecting this, you're doing it for Facebook lead ads. You're not doing it from a personal profile, which is the assumption in here like this definitely is the meta business suite but it's like they could be more clear about that because they don't actually say which profile you want to be in or whatever and then the thing that you want to have happen here which they totally skip over so you've probably run into this too you go to your drop down you hit settings and then it's like your menu looks totally different and there's no such thing as a business integrations page, right? And even clicking on it here doesn't take you to it inside of your Meta Studio. So I did finally figure out how to get to it though. So maybe it's just different in different countries or who knows what the deal is. But the thing that you have to do is be sure in here in Meta that you actually get to your business account, not one of the page accounts, right? So that's one thing they could have probably clarified in here because most of us, when we're using Facebook or using pages anywhere, we're not really, we're the ads manager. We're not really in the actual business settings. And so that's number one, okay? And you'll see here, oh, okay, yeah, go to business settings. So you do that. Um, and that just takes you in here. And if you're like me, it's like, oh, you don't see lead connect in here anywhere. And you go into your pages and it's, it's not there either, unless they've already been connected successfully. And you can't really add it to a page that hasn't been connected through go high level. So it looks all weird and it just tries to use Zapier. So that's kind of where I kept getting stuck. Finally, I figured it out though. They've got this. Okay, so if you're in a page or whatever, you're in your business settings, which you can get to. Okay, you just click that, you get in here to your integrations. Okay, 
Let me just collapse some of this so you can see it all. Okay. Integrations. Now you've probably gotten to here and been like, shit, it's not here. Excuse my language again. I'm going to have to remove that stuff. Well, then you go to leads access and check it out. It's not there. Just go to this little link right here. Okay. You may have shared information about apps. Okay. So then you click that. Okay. And that actually takes you finally to a place where you can get to those settings. Okay. So let's do that. Let cut too many tabs open here. Let me just close some of these. Okay. So we go to business integrations. Now we finally see it. Okay. And that was a little harder to get to than it should have been. But now you see your lead connector view and edit. Okay. Now you can actually go in here and scroll down and check the boxes next to the pages that you want. Okay. So that's what that's going to look like. I'm sorry. I have to blur some of that out because I've got some clients in there, but, um, that's that guys. So I hope that helps you out. And then boom, I've ticked that box. Now let's go over here and actually see if it works. Okay. So I should probably like refresh this screen. I may have to disconnect and reconnect again too. We'll see. Yeah. It's not in the list. So let's do this. Disconnect. Just click the connected button to disconnect. God, I hope this works. Okay, so that typically happens when you click that connect. It actually doesn't bring up the page selection the first time, so don't worry about that. Just close the page and then come back into it. Crap, it's still not there. Ooh. Okay, I had to take a pause there. That's what happens when you do this stuff live sometimes. Okay, but I got it figured out. So there's more to it than what I initially showed you, but I do have success. I am connected now. So woohoo! F yeah, that is good news. So here's what I did guys. So again, you just click this. It takes you and it actually looks like it takes you to your personal thing inside of Meta, which that's good to know. But anyway, we got there, right? We go to view and edit in lead connector. Now I didn't realize, okay, so what's going to happen here is you start scrolling and you see this kind of first thing and it's like, oh, pages, show them all. And they probably tell you this in the instructions here somewhere. Make sure all the toggles are turned on and turn everything on. Um, but I think that the thing I would add to that based on what I've just seen and experienced is that you've got tons of sections here. So you can highlight them all if you want or not. I don't care about that. But what I found is this top one is just for Messenger. So you've got to tick the box of what you want to show up there. Keep scrolling. Okay, you got to do that again and again for all these different settings. So access leads for your pages, create and manage content, manage comments, read content. So you've got a ticket for each one of those, or at least that's what I did that worked and create and manage ads. That's good. This webhooks one is probably the most important because that's how they talk to each other. Read user content and then show a list of the pages you manage. I had accidentally ticked a box up above for another page, but then I didn't tick it in under this. So then you click save and you get this big error message that's you can't have things ticked up above that aren't in the show list of pages you manage. So make sure that's all consistent. So once you've got that all consistent, boom, hit save. Then what I did is just disconnected my connect my Facebook, refreshed the page, connected, and then came back here and selected the page and it was there. So there you go. I hope that helps you guys out in case you were stuck on the instructions in the go high level basic help. 
and we're rocking and rolling. So we'll see you in the next video. If this helped you out, man, I'd love to have you like it. I'd love to have you as a subscriber to the channel and let me know in the comments if you got any questions. All right. Have a great day.